In 2010, carbon dioxide accounted for 84% of total UK greenhouse gas emissions. For 2011, the UK net emissions are estimated to be around 456.3 million tonnes. We need to take carbon dioxide out of the air to allow more heat from the planet to escape and convert it back into carbon. If we don't, the emissions will lead to the sea level rising, major impacts on agriculture productivity, reduction of the ozone layer, increased extreme weather, the spread of diseases and the ecosystem changing. This project was a great challenge. One of my colleagues of the team summarized all what we did through a quote from Mark Twain. They did not know it was impossible, so they did it. Since 1985, the Worldwide ETA project has been trying to prove nuclear fusion can commercially generate electricity safely with no carbon emissions or air pollution. Fusion for Energy has been established as the European agency in charge of the European contribution to the ETA project. The ITER project is an international, large-scale scientific experiment in the field of fusion energy, and its aim is to demonstrate the viability of fusion as a source of energy. In Japan, scientists are conducting advanced research activities at the Computational Simulation Center. Their aim is to analyze experimental data and produce large-scale simulations of fusion plasmas. CEA is a government-funded research organization. It is a major player in the European research area and highly involved in fusion and in HPC. In this context, CEA is in charge of deploying and operating a large-scale computing center in Rokasho, Japan. The Computational Simulation Center has a, as its aim to provide a supercomputer and computing services to the fusion communities IFRAC is, is a set of research activity uh, complementing the ITER project. The goal is to accelerate the development of the use of fusion for the production of energy. It is an important challenge for mankind. The findings of this research will help scientists to understand the behaviour of plasma at extremely high temperatures and to model new materials capable of supporting high radiation and hostile environments, enabling the fusion community to hone designs for future fusion reactors. Build what brought in to design, deploy and develop this new Helios supercomputer. The new Helios machine is based on the new Intel Xeon processor E5 family. The Helios supercomputer consists of 4410 Budix B blades running on 8820 Intel Xeon processor E5 family and this is a powerful combination. Helios, based on the new Intel Xeon processor E5 family, is ranked 28th in the top 500 supercomputers in the world, with a peak performance of 1.3 petaflops. Thanks to our relationship with Intel, we were able to commit very accurate performance of the Fusion's application at this very high level of cores. The Intel Xeon processor E5 family brings the power necessary for conducting very large-scale simulation. It makes also possible to reduce the total cost of energy of the system due to the excellent energy efficiency. The supercomputer Helios will provide vital data for the fusion community and the ITER project. With the challenges of providing clean fuel for our future generations, the benefits of this international project which demonstrates the viability of fusion as a future energy source are expected to be far-reaching. <laughs>